Well, Lighthouse Counseling has been helping people maintain a healthy mind in all of this. Hey, Sabrina. Hey, good morning. Uh, yeah, typically they would be talking to these families in these counseling rooms right over here. But since the social distancing went into place, uh, they are actually moving their services online. It's all virtually. So they have been doing house calls, all of that jazz online. And it has been a little difficult. Gary's joining me here this morning to talk a little bit about, you know, the difficulties that have been coming to them during this these unprecedented times. So Gary, thank you so much for joining us. Give people at home an idea of what Lighthouse Counseling and Family Resource Center does here in the Lincoln area. Sure, what we do, what we do is we provide free counseling and educational classes and we help people get the resources that they need for low-income families across the area, all across Western Placer. Yeah, and I mean, you guys even dig a little bit deeper and you help them with situations like domestic violence and those numbers just have risen so much since the social distancing has been put into place. And you can take a look at their website there. They have so many different types of information on what they do. But here's the thing, you had to postpone your event, your fundraising event indefinitely because of all of this. And that's typically where most of the income comes in uh, to helping these local families. So uh, what is it? What is the outreach that you're doing right now for the public to help out? Well, right now we're asking people to go to our website, lighthousefrc.org, and make a donation to us. The donation will go to families to help them with diapers, accessing diapers, accessing gift cards. Uh, we get them gasoline cards, the food cards, whatever they need. And then also it will help them pay their rent and their utilities when it comes due. Yeah, and I mean, that's definitely something that these families are dealing with that right now. And, you know, they were already dealing with these issues beforehand, before COVID-19. And because of the social distancing, because of them losing their jobs, maybe the one job that they had, mm -hmm. now they don't have that income coming in at all. Exactly. Families were already dealing with high levels of stress and anxiety and depression, and now COVID hits, and so it's, it's only gotten worse. So we're helping the families cope with that. Yeah. So and here's the thing, too. We were talking a little bit about the census, and that's the last question I'm going to have for yeah. you, is how does that play a role on the day-to-day -day in communities, and how does that affect Lighthouse as well? It's really important that everyone fills out the census. It's very easy. It only takes five minutes. So what it does is it funds our roads, our hospitals, our schools. It helps nonprofits. It helps the elderly. So you, for every... A uh, person that does not fill out the census, mm -hmm. Placer County loses $1,000 a year for 10 years, $10,000. And if 80% of them fill that out, which is about the same as 10 years ago, 80% filled out the census, we will lose hundreds of millions of dollars. So it's really important for social services and for roads and highways and everything else. Mm -hmm. People must fill out the census. Yes, and that is very easy. You can do it even online with just a click of a button. Uh, so, yes, go and do that. If you can't make a monetary donation to Lighthouse, you can do just that by filling out your census. Back to you. All right.